Hi everyone, this is Dave from Geekanoids, and today I'm showing you this watch from Thomas Earnshaw. This is their Flinders watch, and it's a really lovely looking timepiece. It's a 42 millimeter casement to this one, a quartz movement with a subdial for both the seconds and a 24 hour display. It's made of 316 stainless steel. We've got the Earnshaw branding on the side here. It's got a sapphire coated lens, and also water resistant to 5 ATM or 50 meters. The strap is a genuine leather strap with a crocodile type print in it. Uh, very nice quality leather strap as well, black on the outside. And then if I just open this up, you'll see that it's a regular sort of tan color on the inside. The back of the casement's really nice. There is some engraving on here, which just gives you some details about the watch and also shows you the Earnshaw logo again. Now this is a quartz movement in here, so it's battery operated. It wears really well on the wrist, which I'll show you in a short while. And I think it's just got a nice clean design to it. Very well made and very easy to read the time. On the wrist, the Earnshaw Flinders is very, very comfortable indeed. It sits very, very nicely. And the supple leather strap is very comfortable. I like the attention to detail on the clasp here. We've got the Earnshaw branding engraved into it. Worth noting, my wrists are 17 centimeters and I've only got one more hole of adjustment on this particular strap, so do bear that in mind. I love the black dial to this face. Very, very crisp detail to it. And in contrast to the silver uh, numbers and markings and the highly polished silver case, it really does look the part. Also worth noting is on the back of the dial, this central circular portion has actually got some texture to it, which just adds a little bit more interest really. I think it's a very nice uh, dress watch and extremely well made. This is the Flinders from Thomas Earnshaw. Thanks very much for watching. Please do hit like on this video. Please check out the links in the video description and I'll see you all in the next one.